Hi Church, welcome back to our devotions for this week where we are going through a Barmy Bible story and this story is taken from Numbers 22. My name's Lola, I'm part of the pastoral team at Manchester Central and yesterday I introduced some of the characters that we would be looking at and today we are looking a little bit deeper at one character in particular and that is a man named Balak. And Balak was the king of Moab. And what we will see is that Balak made some decisions out of fear and intimidation. So what the situation was is that um, the children, the Israelites, were passing through part of the land of Moab where Balak was king. And they had camped next to um, the river Jordan and they were minding their own business and they were on their way to the promised land. Now their mere presence and the things that Balak had heard about them and their God meant that he was extremely intimidated. He was filled with dread, with fear, with terror. And out of that, he made a plan to do evil to the children of Israel. He planned to curse them. And he is planning all of this um, because in his mind, the situation plays out this way. They are going to attack me and they are going to overpower me, take the land and take the people. This is what he has conjured up in his mind. But the real um, reality of the situation is that the children, the Israelites had no intention to do any of that, no plan to do any of that. In fact, before they had actually got to that part of their journey, God had spoken to them about the land of Moab and explained to them that it was not part of their inheritance, that they were to pass through, they were not to engage with the people, they were not to um, take anything from them, um, they were just to pass through. God had actually secured the land of Moab for them because actually the Moabites who lived in Moab were um, distant relatives of the children of Israel. They were descendants of Lot, um, who we know was ne um, Abraham's nephew. So God had already said to the Israelites, their land is not a part of your inheritance, leave well alone. So the Israelites were minding their own business, but yet we have King Balak here, who has conjured up a different scenario in his mind that they want to attack him and therefore starts making um, evil plans to curse them. So out of this, let's think about fear, because what we see is that there was fear there of a situation which was actually not going to happen. But because of that fear, um, there were decisions made. Because of that fear, um, it affected his relationship with God. He set himself up then as an enemy of God. It affected his relationship with people and he went down the wrong path in life. And we as Christians need to um, be careful that we are not operating out of fear. The Bible says that perfect love casts out all fear and that he who fears is not made perfect in love. So let's pray today and let's make a decision that we will not be a people who are motivated by fear, um, but that we um, identify fear in our lives and that we deal with fear and we make sure that we are just making decisions um, and that our understanding and perception of life, that everything comes out of God's love for us. That's all we've got time for today, um, but join me again tomorrow and we'll be looking at a different person in this Barmy Bible story. Thanks, church.